17 Democrats have introduced a bill to reduce U.S. aid to Israel. The reason they claim Israel is using American taxpayer dollars to oppress Palestinians. Yeah, Mort Klein, the president of the Zionist Organization of America, is here to share his reaction. Uh, Mort, happy to have you with us here. Uh, what is this all about? <clears throat> and this is by the <clears throat> grotesque group of extraordinary bigots and Jew haters in Congress uh, making nonsensical statements. They say that aid should be linked to human rights abuses that Israel carries out such as uh, uh, arresting children and treating them badly in prison. Uh, these are not children. They're, these are 17-year-old and 18-year-old uh, uh, Arabs, murderers, who have murdered Israelis, attacked Israelis, and they get arrested and be put in prison. They're not teenagers. They're not children. In fact, one of them murdered an American, Halel <coughs> Ariel, <coughs> who's broke into a, a, an Israeli's house and stabbed this woman dozens of times, this 13-year-old this girl, I should say, until she died. So to be a condemning Israel for human rights abuses is outrageous, while ignoring, ignoring the fact that the Palestinian Authority pays lifetime pensions to Arabs to murder Jews. If you murder a Jew or an American, you get a lifetime pension. This is a monstrous, heinous, Nazi-like human rights abuse they ignore this completely. Yeah, let me, let <laughs> so me this, ask you about this. This resolution is going nowhere. Let, let me ask you about this. Uh, Democratic Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib held an event at the Capitol yesterday. I'm sure you're aware of it, uh, which mourns what uh, she calls the catastrophe of Israel's birth. Um, I, I, I think people can be sensitive to the Palestinian land. We understand that argument. But this, it's a, this, the Israelis, uh, after World War II, needed a home, and the world came together to define where that is, and that's where they have a home today. Otherwise, they would have no home. This has never been Palestinian land. Palestine was, was a region. Uh, as back, far back as 1920, uh, the San Remo Act uh, resolutions in the United Nations uh, have made it crystal clear legally that all of Judea and Samaria, all of Israel today, is Israeli land, including the West Bank, Judea and Samaria. So this has never been Arab land. So if they, and if Israel annexes any part of this land, it's never been Al uh, Arab land. There's never been a state called Palestine. There's no Palestinian kings and queens. These are really nomads who have lived there and never established a state. So people have to understand that. Fair enough. All right, Mort Klein, thank you so much.